First, Canberra has had a few hits in the budget, from efficiency dividends to more drastic cuts. Whilst the Gillard government has invested a record $3 billion in the CSIRO, at the same time, jobs and research programs have been slashed from other science agencies. The Cooperative Research Centre program, which marries scientists with private industry, has been cut over time by $33 million. The cuts could have a major impact on several critical environmental programs, including those based here in the ACT. Kate Evans reports. Will not affect any existing CRC. And they're about taking a problem, bringing the necessary players together from CSIRO, universities, companies, state government, and making something happen on the ground. Research is often siloed, and what a CRC does is fund the arrows between them um, and break down those silos. It's a baseball cap. A baseball cap that measures brainwaves. To calculate how fatigued you are. Let's me know when I'm getting tired. Government um, provides the glue, if you like, that attracts all the industry funding. So um, many CRCs, you'll have competitors uh, funding them. You might have, you know, Rio Tinto, BHP and Anglo-American mining all in the same CRC. But they'll be working on things like safety development, uh, where there's a common issue, a non-competitive issue. So for every dollar the government's putting in, they'll be getting at least one dollar in cash from the industry. I can assure you it is not the case that the government is walking away from our policy objectives in regard to higher levels of collaboration. Dr Fiona Dyer works with the eWater CRC on a project that's allied with ACTU and the ACT government. I'm working on the urban lakes around the ACT conducting research to look at the ecology of those lakes and how they might be affected if we take water from them to water public open spaces. So what I'm doing is measuring the plants that are growing around the lake, looking at what depth of water they're growing in and looking at how vigorous the plants are growing. By partnering with agencies, our research is very much directed at the issues they're facing at the moment. So it's very applied and it's very relevant research. This is not a reflection on our attitude to CRC. It is uh, it's an interim measure for fiscal interim consolidation. Measure in the circumstances yep. where there are very okay. few other options available to this portfolio. Seven million dollars was shaved off CRC's funding in last month's federal budget. That's on top of a $26 million cut after the election six months ago. And Tony Peacock says the CRC's pool of money has been shrinking in real terms for some time. The cumulative effect is that next year we'll have about the same amount of money in cooperative research centres as the year John Howard came to power. So, you know, I'd love to buy a house at 1996 prices um, but we just can't do the same amount of research. CRC for National Plant Biosecurity. Research takes a long time. Uh, on average it takes nine years to deliver research outcomes. So a seven year CRC, very often they'll produce some good things during that time but it's towards the end or in their second term where the really big achievements uh, kick in. Can you see my live image clearly? No problem. Um, I think it's a bad thing for Australia that we're getting this quite dramatic fall off in support for CRCs. Um, I think it's bad that there's a real um, push to get them out of the system quickly, you know, fund it for one term of seven years. That to me is like telling Dawn Fraser, listen, you've won a couple of gold medals, get out of the system. The Canberra-based Invasive Animals CRC, which won an award for innovation at the CRC's national conference recently, is one of the centres that's about to reach the end of its funding. Yeah, that one's dear to me because I came from it. I used to run that one. Um, and it's up for uh, rebid. And this decision's just made it far harder for them to get up. Hey, my name's Anna McDonald. I'm working on uh, research on foxes in Tasmania through the Invasive Animals CRC. Um, what we do is investigate species identification. So, for example, we might get sent some poo 
or some uh, bone fragments or hair potentially, any of those would work. And we try to get DNA from those samples and identify whether it comes from a fox or from another carnivore. Foxes are a really nasty introduced predator. So in this context, we want to know where the foxes are. Um, can we look at something about their structure of their populations, how many individuals there might be, and ultimately with an aim to eradicate foxes from Tasmania. They're important in so many ways for the country. That's why I'm taking this on to try and push and, and hopefully a few people will start listening. Everyone gives you a good hearing, um, but unfortunately we want to stop being the favourite program of whoever's in opposition. <laughs> um, we need government to listen to us a bit better. Hi, mate. How are you? Good, good to see you. Yeah, thanks Welcome. for seeing me again. My pleasure. We're not saying we should grow our slice of the pie. We just say stop shrinking it and look at the value that they've been uh, developing and, and, and supplying the country. We've had review after review after review of the program that are all positive, positive impact on the economy, positive impact on Australians, but also the environment. So we don't understand why we're missing out. I think maybe we just fall in between the cracks because we are such a small program. They're incredibly focused little organisations. They've got seven years to deliver and people are looking at that and they're probably not spent the time self-promoting and keeping in touch with the, the powers that be and making sure that they're appreciated out there and I, I, you know, we certainly need to do a better job of that. When questioned on the cuts in Senate estimates this week, the Federal Science Minister Kim Carr said savings had to come from somewhere. When you have a budgetary strategy to bring the budget back into surplus and, you have, and that leads to a position where you have to find offsets for new activities, it is inevitable that worthwhile activities will be reduced. You would agree, Minister, the CRC program has been a tremendous success over the last couple of decades? Yes. It was a Labor initiative. It's worked very, very well. It's long term. doesn't produce results next year. You're talking years down the track. And so it tends to be a reasonably easy target to just take a shave uh, in a budget. Um, but if you're really talking about productivity, skills... Uh, and as the things that are important to Australia's future, then CRCs need to be part of that mix.